Hi, I'm Mark, mentor and volunteer. And I'm Riley, alum, mentor and volunteer. We are passionate about FTC, so we want to showcase as many Australian teams as we can. Today, we're doing a recap of the Brisbane North, Wollongong, Sydney South and Sydney North qualifiers, which took place during November. Unfortunately, we have not been able to get lots of videos. It's been a challenging game for referees and field staff. We haven't had the luxury of time to get footage. We do have some um, fun photos and moments um, during the season. Please enjoy. The first competition on our itinerary was the Brisbane North Qualifier and competing with 17 teams. This was the new season and the first competition in all of Australia, so there was a lot to learn. So, being part of the field staff and referees, I reckon during practice I was ready to pack my bags and go home. It was absolutely insane. There was balls going everywhere, there was penalties going everywhere, there was refs in huddles. That hasn't changed much since, but it's, yeah, it's definitely an interesting game. 100%. The level of Queensland Robots was also very impressive yeah. with five turrets out of all 17 teams, which was very interesting to see. Yeah. Blue Bot Builders were ranked first, going 6-0 in the qualifiers, 
with an amazing double-sided intake and an indexer. They also took home the first place in Spire, performing extremely well at this competition. Well deserved. This game is also very defense heavy, as we found out, with lots of penalties in play. Lots and lots of yeah. penalties. As one of the gameplay referees, I was handing out multiple penalties per game on average, and there's just a lot of congestion around the end of the ramps and the human player zones. He's, he was like, he's, he was, had a sore arm by the end of the comp. Exactly. <laughs> The next comp was in our hometown town of Wollongong with 14 teams competing. This was the first New South Wales competition, so teams are still getting familiar with all of the rules. And in attendance, we had some VIPs. We had the first CEO, Chris Moore, and the lead game announcer, Blair Hundedmark, visiting from the United States for Project Bucephalus, this year's winner of the Impact Award at the World Championships. So congratulations. Go Wollongong. Uh, we also had the Lord Mayor of Wollongong visit for the opening ceremony. And there were still plenty of penalties, which were very easy to accidentally score for the opposing team, especially around the gate zone and the human player area. Pimble Pride ended up ranked first and winning as the Alliance captain with Barker Redbacks, as well as winning second place Inspire, so congratulations to them. And winning first place Inspire was the Fluffy Terminators, as one of our local Wollongong teams, so awesome representation. Next cop, Sydney South, a new a competition for this, this season and we've 16 teams in attendance. We had the first attempted climb in New South Wales by Robocats coming all the way from Melbourne and Pimble Pride played undefeated in this competition and are currently have a nearly perfect record all season only having lost a single game. Stem Cells won the first place in Spire and Blacktown Boys High School won second place in Spire. So congratulations to this rookie team. Awesome work guys. Our final qualifier comp was Sydney North, a two-day event with 28 teams at Pimble. This was the first competition in New South Wales that had six alliances in the playoffs. And there was three out of four teams in the finals that were Pimble teams, where the event was actually hosted. So congrats to them. There was an issue with the field where the artifacts weren't overflowing properly and got caught a number of times. There was also a field fault where the gate was jammed open twice, which caused some issues for the pattern scoring. During the finals, the alliance from the lower bracket actually won the first match, which caused a very intense tiebreaker. But ultimately, Rice won as the captain, with Pimbotics as their partner. So congrats to the winning alliance. Congratulations. Emu also won first place in Spire, with second and third going to prior recipients Stem Cells and Fluffy Terminators respectively. Well deserved. So we just had some closing thoughts that we'd want to put out before we end the video. Um, so the new advancement system is quite interesting and it's similar to the FRC style that was introduced a few years ago and it seems like a good way to balance teams and sort of incentivize the robot a little bit more, uh, which is always a good thing. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. The ranking points is also very cool to see in FTC. Um, and it allows the top teams to strive for the maximum six ranking points every single game. And I personally think it serves as a better tiebreaker across a whole competition rather than just the auto and end game average points. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just a coach and volunteer. <laughs> if it's good, it's good. Um, the oh, yeah. It's great also to see a new event in Sydney, the Sydney South Qualifier. Yeah, that, that was a one day that I helped um, 
those guys with that and I think they did a really really good job the venue was really great definitely um, teams were great uh, yeah everything about it was great or actually all the competitions that we've been to have been fantastic mm -hmm. well run great teams great volunteers um, just and the level of robots is just like skyrocketed I think in the last few years and um, we were talking to the hall we think the introduction of Go Builder has made a significant difference for these teams. Definitely. Um, yeah. what, what are those teams that, have, that made the finals? Helix, Black and Bite Size, um, they've really done extremely well as rookie teams and I think Go Builder having such an uh, amazing system has really allowed teams to elevate and build the robots that can perform, perform a lot better. And yeah, congrats to those teams. Um, and yeah, we look forward to getting the Nats. Hopefully, we can get a bit more footage. Um, it, it is difficult. There's so many people around the field. Um, but it, my understanding is it, it'll be streamed. Um, and yeah, like good luck to all all the teams. And um, let's just hope it's a great event. Thanks. Thank you.